garden node here. We're starting a new project. It doesn't have to do anything to do with gardening, but our second semi-passion is fish tanks. Raising a few fish. It's Oscar, or as we call him, uh, Odin. Anyway, we've got some fish in there. we got various tanks. Got this little tank over here with some community fish in it. And our molly tank over here who has a bunch of little tiny babies in there. Anyway, we're starting a big oh, there's, there's Chinese fatten fish, fighting fish, mongo. Anyway, we're going to do a fish room in her home office. And this is what we're starting with. It's going to be that entire back wall. And you can see her office is in disarray. I just wanted to get a before shot before we got started on this. Anyway, we'll set up the tripod here a little bit later and uh, get some shots of what we're doing, how we're doing the shelving. That's going to go all the way up to the ceiling. And there's going to be aquariums on that wall. Butt shut. Okay, now we've got the room cleaned out. And the city is getting ready to paint the back wall behind where the shelves are going to be. Okay, we got our initial uh, measurements. This is the first cut with this saw. Honestly, I'm working it opposite handed. I, I was going to be going the other way, but this is the way my trailer is in here because it's raining outside. cuts with this and I like it. I like it a lot. Um, maybe it's because I've never owned one before. I don't know if it holds up to a heavy duty commercial application, but it might. Only time will tell. Um, but anyway, so Ryobi 12 inch sliding compound miter saw with LED. I like the little LED function. It, it makes a shadow, makes a good line. You could actually, I could do a cut without actually making a line on it if I had a jig set up for it. Anyway, I'll give it uh, two thumbs up, and that's what we're uh, that's what we're building today. I'll uh, include a, I'll I'll include a. Uh, that's not correct. Film of the finished product. Yeah, we, we're going to modify it. We're going to take this shelf off because we ended up we were going to go all the way to the ceiling with it, and we found out we have a vent up here that I didn't notice, so I can't cover it up. So we're cutting it off of, at eight at the eight foot mark, and then we'll use that as a top shelf up there. Well, I think the saw was a success. We got it together. Took a lot longer than we thought because we're old and slow. 
but the saw worked out great. Um, if you're trying to decide if you want to run old beaker or not, I'd get it. <clears throat> but uh, this is going to be our uh, fish tank slash office because this is my wife's office. Anyway, we're going to have we got a bow front, 36 gallon goes here, two 29s, a 20 long up here. And then we got two 10s that will either go up here or they may go in here. We haven't decided yet. We're going to see what they look like. And we're going to, we painted the wall black and this is going to be black. So we're going to see what it looks like. We'll get it painted either tonight if the caulk dries in time or we'll paint it in the morning see how it turns out. So just an update. I was going to film a lot of this going together, but uh, we're tired and I just didn't need another distraction. Well, we finished our project other than the decoration part of it. As you see, we got that whole shelving system built. We got uh, about six aquariums in there. I painted this little desk black to match. I hung her up a TV stand. There. We built this little shelf over here that matches. There's her work setup. And we bought this desk at the flea market for $50 and we painted it matching color. So all in all, it came out the way we were hoping. One thing we haven't get done was put the doors on, but actually we found these little black baskets kind of like them. We need to buy more of them. And we might just go with that. Have a little trouble with a couple of tanks. We've got an algae bloom going on. This one was the same way, but we pretty much got it straightened out. It's almost clear again. That's our community fish. That's mongo. Cichlid tank. These are all African cichlids, except for the convict who shouldn't be in there, but we haven't put him in to the Oscar tank. He holds his own pretty good, surprisingly. All these other guys. babies and we got 11 we didn't see them till late so we didn't get to save everybody oh well, by the way we are in Texas and we got seven inches of snow last night so this is a rare sight Just 
Here's our Lazy Cat Jacks. Jacks. Turn around and smile for the camera. That's the way he works every day. Anyway. Say bye, Noob 2. Noob 2. <laughs> Trying to work, you Go away. He's the only one working. I didn't even try to make it into work this morning. Well, Garden Noob signing off. Soon to be known as the Aquarium Noob, I think. <laughs> we'll see you all in the next video.